cruised by Mandy on board Norwegian Joy, the inaugural U.S. sailing, Deck 15 forward, one of the most prized possessions of both the Norwegian Joy and the Norwegian Bliss uh, sister ship. Both of these ships sail to Alaska. In Alaska, everything is about the outdoor beauty. So uh, stepping in here, I'm going into the observation lounge. You'll see sinks around here. Why are sinks important? Kill germs, wash the bad stuff off. Take a moment and wash your hands when you walk into a restaurant. You're gonna keep yourself safe. You're gonna keep everybody else safe. Don't get on a ship with 4,000 people and get everybody else sick because you're too lazy to wash your hands. Just like putting a kid with diapers in the pool. Don't do it. Vacation is more about everybody else, not just you, so use those stations. The observation lounge has a lot of sit down areas. You can come in, hang out, play cards, read a book. Um, my personal preference, don't sit there and put your feet up on the table or in the chair like you do at home. This is not your personal living room furniture, but sometimes we see that people have other ideas. Sit like a normal adult and uh, don't stick your feet on the furniture. Some may agree with me or some may not. Anyway, that's my two cents and a pet peeve of mine. Um, the observation lounge does have munchies and drinks. Uh, if you've got your teas that you're needing a tea, these are complimentary. It's not like you need to buy anything or buy a drink package for that. So you've got, you know, cream, sugar, honey, hot chocolate, whatever it is you're needing. And the water's there and juices. Um, some people think they buy a cruise or purchase a cruise and they're not gonna be able to have any water or drinks or anything unless you buy the drink package. And I always say, no, basic beverages are included. And, and they start to breathe a little bit easier. So don't think that you're gonna you know, pay a lot of money for a cruise and they're not gonna even give you water. Now they're not gonna give you isolated glacial water or whatever specialty bottled water you personally prefer, but the water is filtered on board. Just some uh, decorative items here. Once again, this is deck 15 forward, observation lounge. Now, yes, this item is designed to have your feet on it, but not the couch. Don't stick it on the couch. Okay, moving on. So the observation lounge, you'll see there are a lot of windows over there. Hi. I'm getting up to the good part. Now we are technically Here's observation lounge. Again, guess what? More sinks. Two sinks, wash your hands. You don't just need the spray bottle of washi washi. That's when there's nothing else around. Um, lots of great seating areas up here. So even if you have an inside room, you have a place to come hang out. Now this is a big difference you will notice here versus the bliss. On the Bliss, right here in this area, is a bar. So your drink package works here at the bar. On the Joy, there is not a bar right here. There's more seating. And um, also a difference, you have a Starbucks right back here. And again, it's, um, Starbucks is extra. So, um, just be prepared for that. It's usually not included in your standard drink package. We also have an area. Again, more drinks. They're not going to make you dehydrate on board. But you'll usually find munchies out. Now you've got a bar area over here. And looking over here on the starboard side, you can see it's a long walk back to those elevators, but we are all the way forward. Check this out. It's dark outside, so you really can't see, but look at the beauty. Two-story glass windows. What a beautiful way to view the glaciers in Alaska. You've got lots of windows right here. You've got a beautiful 180 degree view. The Bliss is going through Glacier Bay National Park and the Joy is visiting a different glacier. Those glaciers are beautiful looking at the blue ice and hearing the crackling sound. Just, it's just mesmerizing. So, this is a great area 
to come hang out, just like you saw me post about on the Bliss six months ago. And this is one of the reasons that make the Joy a great ship for Alaska. And remember, Norwegian Cruise Line has the youngest fleet sailing in Alaska. Right now, she's got the Bliss, the Joy, both of whom are sister ships and are doing seven night round trips out of Seattle. And then you also have the Norwegian Jewel, who is doing hey, another wash station. Norwegian Jewel, she is doing northbound, southbound between Vancouver and Seward. Now, fingers are crossed, they're gonna get a fourth ship up there. I personally always like the, the smaller ships because I'm not walking so far and I can get around the ship pretty quickly and easily. So maybe they'll think about putting a Norwegian Sun up there or something, that would be pretty awesome. She was just recently refurbished. Sun and the Norwegian Sun was my very first ship to take to Alaska and I really enjoyed that. But anyway, as you will see, the starboard side of the observation lounge is just identical to the port side where you have munchies that'll be coming out. You've got your teas, if you need them. Trash, yes, use it. Your hot water, your juices, and so forth. Cruise by Mandy, signing off from the Observation Lounge, Deck 15 Forward, Norwegian Joy.